SRP. Like, their defensive potential here is they have defensive disruption. They can charge in Spirit Breaker to create uh, space and time. And Kunko, with the with the ghost, can remember was at ESL one Frankfurt, and they went 22-0. So uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> well, all right. With that, very quickly, what are we thinking? 2-0, or are we going to an ace match before we hand it off to the casters? 2-0. Uh, I th I really like IG's draft, but I still think Vici Gaming are going to do something crisp as always. Purge? I, I really like the IG draft. I think we're going to go to a 1-1. One, one. All but right. Yeah. I'm Fair enough. That. And what a badass Kunkus set that is. And with that, David and David, take it away. All right, folks, welcome back to Star Ladder Season 12, your winner bracket finals. We're in the thick of it now. Game two has begun with IG trailing against Vici Gaming. 0 to 1. I'm LDM joined here by Gods. Gods, what do you think? Do you well, think this is a 2 0 or is this going to be a, a 1 1? I was excited for the Burning Kunkka, but he swapped over. He's on the Lena. Boo. Boo. Indeed. <laughs> Disappointing. I'm, I'm just happy to see uh, Kunkka. Yeah, to yeah. be fair. Absolutely. This is a somewhat Such forgotten a pick. It does make a bit more sense as a support, I feel. It's just not a carry that can, at any point in the game, fight head on against a troll warlord. Uh, yeah, the boat helps you stay alive, but you get that out of a support conquer as well. So we'll see IG running that in the support role. And I, I like IG's draft. Ferrari and Shadowfiend, just standard Ferrari hero. The farming Lena, though, this is something very different out of Burning. Not a hero that you expect. Aggressive tri-lane farming Lena, it looks like, potentially, with the, the or maybe just begins. an offlane Lena with a roaming support duo. We'll see, but <laughs> for now, Burning is head in bottom. This is a definitely not the laning setup you would expect as like kind of the default way to do it, but well, the Spirit Breaker is going to be yep. headed to the safe lane. Vici Gaming dodging the aggro trial lane, though. They're sending Hal top lane already, and he doesn't really need support too much against the Spirit Breaker. This is a lane he should have a pretty good time even 1v1 against. Now, oh, FY up to his usual tricks, wants to make a move in on the mid lane, gets up the lift, but Tron was waiting. That yep. would not have been a good time to go for Vici. Nice attempt with the boots first, and if the supports weren't there, seeing behind 430, that could have been a very possible first blood. But here comes an early smoke for IG Chuan. Maybe looking to make a kind of counter rotation. Similar story in the mid lane if he wants to go for that. The possibility is there. Well, no smoke just yet. And for now, we'll see Super farming it up versus 430. It's a mag, though. A hero that can generally sit back to CS from a decent distance. So not an easy hero to gank. Doesn't really have to go up and poke the creeps if he doesn't want to. See FY in position up top, protecting his buddy Howe a little bit, and it's daytime, gods. This position is just tailor-made for stop smoke gank trends. Yeah, they even if Howe pushes far up, I don't see this smoke gank really amounting to too much. The Rubik just gonna be able to get that easy telekinesis off. They pushes they see Troll pushed up, but there we go, easy reveal and Oh the charge comes out though. That might buy time for this disruption. They get it. I follow up. The damage. Uh, they don't Not have to it. mention this creep wave. If anything, BG Gaming turn this one around. The TP in from Phoenix. I think they're happier that they forced the TP at least, which I think they want to lane really swap. Needed. Yeah, it looked like the t the TP from my size is purely for the lane swap. Now that this bottom lane is much more troll suited. Ah, Lena versus Skyrath troll. That is, I, I guess as far as off lane heroes go, the Lena still decent Dyer's in this situation. But you get to that point where the troll gets the ranged axes and has a boots advantage with the concussive shot, then you look to tower dive the Lena potentially, or at least force her yeah. off of the lane. Especially if you get the phase boots up, that's where you can use that movement speed burst, even dodge light checker rays that get turned around upon yourself. So, oh, the courier moving around in the, in the ramps <laughs> area, and it reveals a smoke. If they clicked on it, they saw it. It's much all over the place. Vici Gaming, FY, gonna pick one up. So, not just the between game breaks where these teams are pulling out the smokes and. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be very It's like, popular. yeah, we need 20 minutes between games. Got to go get a bite to eat and have a cigarette and then get ready for game two. Or maybe more than one <laughs> Yeah, at times. They, they do enjoy their, their nicotine. Meanwhile, burning in the bottom lane, finagling around, but could get caught out here. I do have Fenrir in position. They need just the troll range slow here. If they can get that on, oh, Bernie, this could be your first blood. Here Looking comes IG, though. Concussive shot. It's going to be too late. It looks like one more auto tech Disruption. Maybe they could turn it. Looking for the surround. First the turret's blood. there. Too late. First blood claimed by the Scarlet. They might get the trade, though, Bernie. Or no, how, actually? Or they should say. A little bit too tanky. It's Fenrir they may have to settle for. Faith chasing him out. He's going to have one more torrent. And if he hits this one, Fenrir's dead. He skirts away from it, though. And I don't think Chuan has this one, Gods. Concussive shot. Going to drive him back. A clean first blood claimed by Vici Gaming. Yeah, nicely played. That's Burning going down as well. 
Top lane is not exactly the friendliest lane for Ice 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 as well. It's uh, already a level 4 Spirit Breaker with all the Venoms, so if he gets just any kind of bash coming out from Lua or any kind of RNG going his way, suddenly it's a kill, and he's always going to be going for those just right clicks whenever possible, hoping for the RNG to favor him. Yeah, and Ice 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 does not have any reins of protection, so this physical damage is extremely difficult to deal with. Oh, he gets bashed, but he's looking for go. the dive, and he may just go down. Oh, oh. mid-attack animation. That wasn't even any crazy RNG. The bash came at a good time, don't get me wrong, but he hit him like two or three times before that, and that's just what Spirit Breaker does. Oh, meanwhile, FY, he spent a lot of time waiting with the smoke, but 4.30 seems hip to it. Nice. Well, sure a rune. Successfully smoke ganking right now. Now Chuan finds a DD, has a disruption with the Soul Catcher. This may be the death of Hao. Runs up to high ground, will get a Tango off, but what does it really matter? Torrent comes through, a clean takedown, this time for IG. Makes it one to one. Yeah, that's a uh, nice kill to be getting. Doesn't go the way of Burning, who's still kind of struggling a little bit as far as the offlane goes, but Troll on the sidelines. Only seven CS to go with Trolls level four right now. This has been a very rough start for him. Game of musical lanes. Now uh, Skyrath Mage appears top, gonna wind its way through the tree line. Ice 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 even dove in for this, but he'll get countercharged. Lua says, screw you, man. Get the hell out of here. Well, and he may pay with his life in the end. And while this is happening, there's also a kill in the mid lane. Looks like they managed to rotate in. They bring down FY's Rubik. Yeah, too aggressive from Lua. He had to salve and everything. He just had to hide in the trees because Ice 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 was backing off as he was tanking the tower. I think he just had to sit back, salve up. Then go for the charge or just not go for the charge at all. Was that, unnecessary that is aggression. twice though, he's almost killed Ice Ice Ice. Yes. He's just he's just tantalizing how low his HP is. Well, this this lane movement, man, I swear we've seen like you know, four smokes, like ten rotations already. CS wise, IG are dominating right now. The top three farmers and two of the VG Gaming cores in single digit CS. Well, that may change with at least in terms of the domination factor with Burning going down bottom lane. Nice Dragon Slave to do some chip damage, and Luo will be forced to come his charge. He almost has Nether Strike, though. In fact, he's less than a wave away from it, it looks like. It's a like. scary proposition. A lot of Radiant Vision down bottom lane. Do spot Luo's appearance now at this bottom lane, as well as Chuan. So, unlikely to see much come out of this. But maybe with Luo hitting level 6, we could see an initiation. Especially if this ward doesn't spot Luo hitting level 6. Well, they charge, and in they go. Luo has it. Where's the lift from FY? Doesn't get one off just yet. They aren't going to go, actually. Yeah. With the blind, I don't think you get this kill. In fact, Chuan Shadow Demon down. I was like, oh, just to force to back off. I, the communication wasn't there. At some point, Luo had to just say, like, or Chuan had to notice. There was no mana, actually, for a Nether Strike. They had no chance of getting that kill. I don't know if they get it even with the Nether Strike. He's fairly tanky yeah. as far as his armor goes when he's in melee form. Oh, Luo. He wants to die. This time he's got a Shadow Fiend in tow. They're going to clear out the wave. He isolates FY behind the tree line. Starts giving him the Lantern. The lift's there. Tosses him across the treeway. Nicely done by FY, but they're getting really crowded and cornered here. Dragon Slave on two. Charge follow through. And now Super looks for the turn. Nice RP. Shockwave follow up. Only hitting Burning, though. And now the chase. Fenrir going to drop as well. It's a triple for 430. And he continues to fly around. He's got more raises. Whips one. He's got a second. He'll connect on that, and down goes Super 2. Not a quad for 430, but he'll take the kill for his team nonetheless, gods, and suddenly there's a mech. Well, you, well, you love having haste runes in these kind of fights. This is some insane aggression coming out from both teams. Constant lane rotations, smoke ganks all over the place. This is the new era of Chinese Dota. We saw it in game one as well. We're seeing it a lot from uh, both Vici Gaming as well as Radiant's IG in the Chinese scene. And they're not giving teams any room to breathe, any room to get up that early game farm. And that's where they've come so deep in the tournament. These teams like Secret who try and get like all, they just sit back, Radiant's farm up their core players. It just doesn't work attack. anymore. Not against this kind of play style. Luo gallops in. We saw this yesterday Radiant's against Alliance. And we'll see it again here. The Mad Cow reemerges. He is just all over the place. Well, you know, the one thing that may slow the game down a little bit, Gods, is smokes are starting to run thin for both teams. Vici oh. gave me down to one. IG could buy one, haven't actually purchased this it. This is where IG start five manning your towers, though. They've got the mech already on 430, just eight minutes into the game. They could just five man around. Another if they charge. Want to. This guy's everywhere. He doesn't have another strike, though. Not sure he gets the kill, but just all over the place. Yeah. I just love seeing an active Spirit Breaker like this. Constantly off the map, always ganking, and not afraid to go a little bit deeper than what you, you normally expect. <laughs> we saw him going into fountains earlier. Yeah, yesterday it was. 
Yeah. That was some fun. My, I think one of my favorite moments ever, Cassie Dota, is he just gallop. Oh, super. Man, he's going to take a pounding here. Got to be careful about the potential charge coming in. There's no RP to interrupt that. Magnus, the one here in the VG Gaming side who has decent CS and farm right now, but even that is just 25 CS to the 53 of 430 Shadow Fiend and 32 on Lina. Burning going deep at the bottom lane. It's a charge onto Fenrir and easy Laguna kill. Burning hits the LSA on Ice 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 as he TPs in and yeah, Burning he wanted to go his own. He wanted to go top with FY and look for a kill, but because of that die, they rotate bottom instead and look to make it a one for one. Out comes the supernova and that'll be enough to secure the counter kill. That was nice. Ice 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 hitting every fire spirit and uh, as a result, Lena was just ran out of options. And another charge. <laughs> of course. I mean, it's been at least, what, like 10 seconds? Yeah, it's, it's, it's too, been long. too long. It's he's got places he's to go. He's going to get scouted up by a mid lane observer ward, so they see him coming now. I don't know if that's going to stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even Luo has his limits, it seems. But it is definitely the, the big hero of bottling Vichy Gaming up right now. And as you mentioned, with the mech, and uh, crucially, they have the boat. Their five man on IG is extremely devastating. No blink dagger on Magnus yet, and without that, it's really hard to see Vichy fighting, especially with Supernova. Yeah. So they give up the T1 tower, and that's just something which seems unavoidable with how strong this IG five man can be. Even with the lean thing at the top lane, Burning just trying to get some catch up farm for himself. Burning with four deaths. He is two thirds of the Vichy gaming kills right now, but. He's managed to get a few, help his team with a few kills here and there and create space for 430 to be off to a fantastic start. Already level 9, Dyer's Ogre Club back in his stash. 430 is getting quickly very hard to kill. Well, Shadow Fiend is known is as one attack. of his absolute signature heroes for a reason. And they are going to start moving more as a unit. IG deploying yet another smoke. They can't even buy another for two minutes. None on their heroes. They are fresh out for a little bit after this, but yep. they're good. even if they don't get a kill here, they secure the tower Radiant's just by popping the smoke and posting up. So I don't, this will be the Radiant's last outer tower down. So. Yeah, there's some drafts where if you reach 10 minutes and you have no smokes, it's a big problem. Drafts built around like a blink dagger timing on an axe or a bat rider, drafts or even like a level six Radiant's on a lion. But for IG, their heroes, their draft, it doesn't really require that kind of 10 to 15 minute timing from any sort of item that's going to lead into ganks here. The lean in level 6 is maybe the one thing which you could argue is needed for ganks, but it feels just getting this early game lead is well worth it, and going through three smokes already doesn't really matter. I feel like the really big thing for IG is because they take the tier 1 mid as well as top, it's not so easy for Vici to farm ancient stacks, and we've seen that be like the crucial kind of centerpiece of this troll magnus strat. You just stack the ancients four times, clear the stack, suddenly 1200 gold on your troll. But that oh, yeah. has been denied to them. At least easy safe farming is being denied to them. Yep. Yeah, IG can really take control of the radiant jungle in that area if they want to, so we'll see what the next move's gonna be. A double damage rune could lead to thoughts of a Roshan here for 430 as he's gonna bottle that one up, although they haven't got the best Rosh lineup. Yeah, it's probably it's good possible. enough with the mech. You've yeah. got the, the Spirit Breaker can Definitely tank. possible. It's, it, they may lose a little bit of health on the cow. But At 12 minutes in, Roshan is fairly squishy. Yeah. This, this will be easy with the LSAs, too. Yeah, that DD ruined the... No points even in presence of the Dark Lord yet, but it'll get it done. And it does not feel like VG Gaming have any hope of contesting this. They do have their Phoenix Egg available, but this comes right before Super's Blink could be purchased. Yeah. A really nice timing window here for IG to grab a, an absolutely free agent and some bonus gold as well. That combined with the lack of farm on Al's Troll Warlord is kind of making it so that Vici Gaming can't really fight. With Supernova plus a Blink RP, there is potential for a big team fight Wombo Combo, but IG with Mech and soon a BKB on 430 will at least be able to hold their own. Looks like a Dominator will be the choice. Oh, hold that thought. Luo, charging in. They were trying to deward this dire observer, but. He throws out the charge, and any hope of doing so has been denied. Oh, okay, make the solution going to attempt it as well. But already they're rotating in. <laughs> yeah, let's keep let's keep that with a light. Yeah, I guess not. They, they don't really care. Looks like they were going to so go. So they'll block off the ancients, deny that farming tool from the troll warlord. And I don't think Vici got a single big stack. There might have been a double stack just now, but that was it. There was no triple or quad I mean, stack. The troll still sitting below 4,000 net worth, and the Shadow Fiend about to hit 8,000. Doubling Radiant's up the troll warlord. Well, I'm just gonna casually stop his charge. Was heading bottom, and what's the next step here for IG gods? Can they threaten tier twos? 
You well, are up against the Blink RP now. They may not have seen it, but it's around the time when normally Magnus would have it. Yeah, I, I think they may look to farm the Radiant Jungle until they have the BKB on 430. They can't really go for smoke ganks, so they'll probably look to stick together in the Radiant Jungle. At least have three or four heroes sticking nearby each other. 430 walks into the smoke. He walks into four heroes, but I don't know if he's the one you want to go on. They're going to look to turn this now. Mech, play and pop, and he's kept alive. Now the dive around by Ice Ice Ice. 430 will drop, but not before the Requiem comes out. Now the Supernova to turn it, and meanwhile on the back line, Tau, as well as Super cleaned up. Two cores down, the Phoenix Egg will go off. I was done. waiting for him now. But no follow up and all they exit. Where are you going, Ice Ice Ice? Nowhere fast. They'll bring down FY Stolen Boat. Who really cares? Ice 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 will fall as well. And IG just making short work of Ichi Gaming. It's four dead. Four for nil. For an Aegis, I guess. But I mean, that's why you have an Aegis to take a team fight like so that. 430 just four. runs into the entire Vici Gaming team unafraid. I mean, he runs into it, implies like a sense of urgency. He like sauntered in, you know, sat down for a little bit. He's like, hey guys, how you doing? I don't think he even totally realized they were there. They were like smoked up. They, he only saw like the Magnus or something. And he's like, oh, four heroes. Just kind yeah, of throws. Okay. Like, yeah. okay, I guess, I guess I'll kill you. Did this little swagger walk and then just said, okay, yeah, you'll, you'll do some damage to me, but I'll turn around and kill you after that. Uh, what a what a series this has been already. Game one, IG off to a hot start. Then Vici pull it back. This game again, IG dominating early, but this time this a little more dominance, substantially. Yeah. This is a 10k gold lead, 5k experience lead. Now this type of lineup though is the kind of lineup that can turn this game. If you get caught by a three four here RP, we saw Bone Seven's amazing Phoenix play, very good at defending high ground. If you place the egg right, this could be the type of draft that gets punished. Uh, on the side yeah. of IG if they go to it. And that's where I think IG, if they play it smart though, can circumvent that, especially around Aegis. If you have just a Shadow Fiend with Aegis on the high ground, you should be pretty safe. Oh, they find Ice 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 nicely done with the, the charge, giving Vision for an X follow-up. Can they kill up Ice Ice Ice? You betcha! Great little bash there at the end to secure the kill. I think IG, especially now the BKB, can take these tier 2 towers somewhat methodically. They are securing their late game. Might is picked up by Luo, who's now level 11. They won't be going for a high ground siege until they've got that Aegis, because that's when the slow siege comes into play. 30, he just walks right in. Great okay. RPs there. And now they skewer two back. 430 kept alive the boat that was stolen earlier coming out, but oh, not so much avail. Faith just going to run forward and will end up killing off Super. Now the Yule, the follow-up coming through. A wild courier appears, quickly dealt with. Suddenly four dead again. Oh, there's a charge as well. Is he going into the fountain? Luo. He oh, come on, Luo. Come on. You uh, wanted to. Phoenix was Okay, he has to use his Midas, guys. Yeah. Let's not giving him too much shit. Oh, you better use it then. Radiant's come on, Luo. <laughs> you stop that charge. You use your Midas. Uh, at this rate, he's going to be a fan favorite here in Romania. I think they enjoy the dives. For now, things will calm down a little bit. But IG, I I'm just looking at the minimap gods. All I'm seeing right now are little red dots, the kind that mean that Vici Gaming have no map control. Yep. Unfortunately for IG, they've kind of blocked off some camps they'd like to use, like in the Radiant Jungle here, which is actually, at this point in the game, this is IG farming territory, so this board kind of backfiring a little bit at this point. But blocking the Ancient's definitely very useful still. And All three cores of Vici are ahead of all, or uh, of IG are ahead of all three cores of Vici, and this Shadow Fiend is 10k net worth. He's over double any core on the side of Vici Gaming, and that's a troll with a Magnus. We saw earlier today, this this hero can be as far ahead as the Shadow Fiend is, but not the way this game is going. Uh, hello, Super. Blinks out, but not before Luo gets off a single hero stun. Now Silent just walking on through, and a hasted Swagger Fiend struts up as well, looks for Bender, gonna find him too. Boat coming through, won't really connect on anyone, but gives them the buff. This will allow the dive follow-up. Speaking of dives, Ice 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 wants to use his own, but he goes for the egg in the middle of everybody. They can focus this down as a squad. They will. And again, four heroes fall. It's a triple for 430. I think this game is just over at this point. This There's is looking nothing like, Vici can do. This is looking like that IG versus Alliance game from the other day. This troll is out of this game right now. He's sitting on 4.5k net worth. By the time he gets any sort of an item, he's going to be forced into a BKB, but then if your SF is doing physical damage, your Lina has an Aghanim Scepter, at no point is this troll going to be fighting fish. The only small hope is that five-man RP into Empower Troll, yada yada, but I don't think IG are going to give him that kind of a fight. The positioning has been on point from IG. It basically requires a throw, it feels like. Yep. If IG play it smart and safe, they just continue to control the map, 
take fights with the Spirit Breaker charge initiation. They also have the gem advantage now with Faith, so they can deward any attempts by Vici to get some vision and just play it safe and slow. And there's no real split push for Vici. That's the other thing. You cannot just walk the troll out to a side lane. You do that, you're dead. You get charged, you get bashed, Kunkka comes in, and you ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I think the big thing for IG is to just keep the pressure up, just keep pushing out these lanes. They do need to stick together if they want to be aggressive. They're going to go on Quan as well as Bernie. Great two-hero RP. Skewer follow-up, but in comes a wild move. Then the boat. That's on three. Lagoon over the top. Bernie survives it. What a turn it's been. He may die to this last dude for the Skyrath. Looks Man like he will. In. But Luo, oh, he saved, and now he's even going to walk back forward. Magnus trying to turn this finish off. Bernie misses is the stun, but Luo cleans up Skyrath Mage, and now with an X onto Ice Ice Ice, he'll be the fourth man down. They brain down the Firebird as well. Another four hero takedown by IG, who just continue to pile up the kills. 24 to 8. I mean, at least the gold exchange was more even for that fight. <laughs> I mean, That's the actually comeback a, gold. I, I consider that almost a good trade for VG. An, an even it, trade at this point is basically as good as it Even gets. gold, even XP change. Yeah, kind of. I guess Ma Magnus got 1,200 gold out of that fight, so we'll help out his BKB, I'm, but... It's good in a very relative sense. You'd rather the troll stay alive. That's the one hero who really needs farm. I, mean, I think if it was troll alive instead of Magnus at the end getting all that gold, it'd be one thing, but yeah. It's it's still a very poor under farm troll war. I mean, this is feeling like a support troll. He may he may just need to who, let the Magnus get a little more Who's space. he battle trancing? <laughs> who, who is the carry? The, the Magnus. Super's got to yeah. get that. He's got to get his Daedalus, man. BKB, Daedalus, Mask of Madness. Uh, well, maybe you can skip the Mask of Madness yeah. since you have the troll. That's the that's the Dendi pub Magnus, though. He loves that build. Don't so Shadowfiend gets a Blink Dagger to go with his fighting items. And I guess at this point, why not? You can just Blink in, take any kind of aggressive fight, especially around an Aegis, which is surely going to go IG's way fairly soon. Especially because Vici keep on throwing away smokes. They, their next smoke not available for six minutes, gods, and none on their heroes right now. No wards out in the map aside from one mid, but it feels like this may be uh, quickly dewarded. Chuan currently the one holding that gem. They did not lose it in the last fight. So from here, Vici Gaming, they've got to try and find pickoffs where possible. They don't want to take head on 5v5 fights. They need to get that high priority. If they want to take a fight, it has to start with a high priority kill for them. I'm probably on the Shadow Fiend or the Lina. But killing Shadow Fiend without getting cannon hit just seems impossible. Punker, you've got the boat to also provide the, the Coco's rum to keep people alive. And Shadow Fiend is getting take here and take here. Well, now a charge. He wants to split push. Wow, you better react real quick, TP out, it'll get there. About three seconds away from certain death. Yeah, I think IG may just swing bottom for the tier two now. They haven't got Roshan just yet, so at least wait and check out the Roshan respawn. No, no need or no real incentive to try and push high ground yet. There's not really any immediate catch-up potential from BG Gaming outside of winning a fight, which is going to happen if you go for the high ground push, so... Even the, even the Courier's having a hard time getting out on the map. It tries to go to the secret shot, but there's a ward waiting for it. And oh, that charge almost lands top from Luo, but... Just and and Ice Ice Ice, they want to hold the last tier too, but I don't think this will be allowed, at least not easily. They have Ferrari moving up into position. He's going to raise this wave, and well, they may wait for that next Roshan before they try to take that last tier too. You can see though, it's like around like that area. You go much beyond Radiant's that, you're getting charged. Yeah. As soon as someone shows, like how's going to show on the map? If he pushes beyond this one creep wave, he'll get charged. He may even get charged now anyway, just because the spear breaker is playing on. Yeah. Look who it there is. There we go. Anyone who shows on the map is getting charged, and then it seems Radiant's most of the time it's not lean to kills. But if it does by for any chance, it's uh, here it forces a TP. Lua, job done. Yeah, and with that TP being forced down, it's just. I mean, I guess for Vici, there's not really many places to TP, so it's just more of the gold that really hurts him. Troll will TP himself top after. <laughs> he farms like 150 gold bottom and then spends 100 gold just to TP top. I mean, so. <laughs> expect this little charge towards top in about 5 to 10 seconds. Maybe they'll take the tower. Yeah, maybe more tower focus here. Kuria, I don't know if it's scattered Roshan, but Roshan is ready for IG's attack. taking. DD rune right by it as well. Everything just set up perfectly. Yeah, it's feeling like a very cruisy, comfortable game so far for IG. Now, breaking the base can be a different matter, but they're going to have so much insurance. BKB, Shadow Fiend, the mech there as well. Might even be building into the Scotty just for pure survivability. And you've got other tanky heroes. You've got the Kunkka ultimate, as you mentioned earlier, just for the 
the damage debuff so that you survive a lot longer. The fight disruption straight defensively. I feel like they can go high ground and not really worry too much. Oh yeah, with the Skadi Aegis on Shadow Fiend, that's basically anything they want. Unfortunately, this smoke gang from IG doesn't. They were trying to bait Lua in the mid lane while Ferrari pushed bottom lane because VG Gaming would be like, okay, Ferrari's pushing bottom lane. He's got backup. Lua's alone, but they didn't take the bait. Oh, they found Hal gets off the charge. Mystic Flare was waiting for him. Laguna over the top. How low? It will be killed off by Bernie. The RP is good by Super. Skewer's two back, but he's got no one to do the damage here. He may just go down. Yeah, X waiting for him. They get two cores for the price of an off-plate Spirit Breaker. Yep. They're happy with that. Again, funnily enough, almost an even golden XP exchange, but that's your two big carries on the Vici Gaming side. And IG going to secure an easy tier 2 top tower. Still been fallen back for Rosham, which Radiant's I imagine because these heroes will be respawning before they reach high ground is going to be the call for IG. It seems like an unnecessary risk to go. Right, well, I guess RP's on cooldown, so maybe with the RP on cooldown, they at least try and chip away at the tier 3 tower. This has just been systematic from IG. There has not really been a single moment where it's like, okay, now VG Gaming is mounting a comeback here. You look at the graph, and it's just nothing but slow, steady progress downwards. Dominant so far. It's great to see return of a, a forgotten hero in the Kunkka. Uh -oh. I mean, it definitely hasn't been like the only reason IG have done well. I think if anything, this was just Chuan and Faith, great early game rotations. It hasn't been kind of specific to the one hero. Oh, 430 blinking in. They have an X to pull this Rubik a little bit farther back. BKB forced out from 430, and they do get the Kunkka kill. It's a Skyrath as a trade, but Beachy uh, Gaming, they're okay with that. They force out the BKB, and it's just going to be a one for one in the end. And that's the kind of trade Vici Gaming will take all day long for at least the next 10-15 minutes until they start chipping away at this gold lead of IG's, but time to go back for Roshan. IG after this Aegis will have, I believe, the yeah, Skadi complete on 430, BKB coming for Luo. Those are two really useful high ground pushing there, items. There is basically no solution for the, the Spirit Breaker BKB. You're not going to be able to land an RP on that because he's going to bash you as he charges through you. So I, I, they can't really stop his initiation gods. Yep. Maybe they can try to turn it after that charge in, but that's about it. And for IG, they got the whole team respawning in. I imagine they'll just find a lane to go push down, or they look for the pickoff first. They've got one smoke still available on Fate, so Roshan this could be to the, the one last little pickoff attempt they, they're waiting for before going for that game-ending push. And how? He's being swatted out of the Ancients. Oh, I just want a creep. Give me a creep. There will be a blind on Luo here. And now the Nether Strike follow up. They're and reinforced since RP was waiting, but it's just for the Spear Breaker. This may prompt a high ground attempt by IG after they finish off. Now they'll get him. Now they can turn to focus on the egg. A couple of heroes working on it. Got up the Fire Spirits on Faith. Won't matter though. They kill up the egg. The Spear Breaker still surviving, courtesy of his BKB. And now mauling Super with the Lantern. Gives him the Urn Charge and. Oh, there's no blink available with this constant damage coming out. They've isolated him in the corner. Laguna just to make it hurt. That's IG. They're just all on the same page there. Lua's like, that okay, I'm going in. Tower. This is a really bad spot for me to be in. He gets RP, but the defensive disruption. 430's waiting with the mech, and Urn Charge also comes out from uh, the whoever has the Urn, the, or the Spirit Breaker himself, and he comes out on 20 HP, healed back up to about six or 700 HP, and pops a BKB so he doesn't get hit by the Supernova. And they had to commit an RP even to have a chance at that kill. Yep. That's just, that is not the opening that you ideally want, but it's what Beachy Gaming are reduced to at this point. IG using disruption now, they're looking for the siege, that's why gets caught out initially, pulled back in by the X, another takedown. 430 is low though, BKB pulling down, it looks like he'll drop with the Aegis, but has a round two available as the rest of BG Gaming start to yeah, congregate here mid. That, that was, was a up. less than ideal initiation, they got nothing out of the Aegis really there. Yeah, they do have the BKB ready to go again on both cores in, in six seconds. Tower. Surprised by how attack. fast 430 actually fell there, the Ancient Seal amplifying all that magic damage actually really helping out VG Gaming. So that does slow down IG's momentum. It's not going to allow them to go for that high ground push with an Aegis. Uh, they may just look to get their next couple of big items. This may be where they're like, okay, let's just breathe a little bit here. This is game two. We haven't won yet. If we throw this one, we're going down to the loser's bracket. Let's not get sloppy. May even wait for the next Roche, though. I feel like if they're safe about the Siege with Disruption Illusions, they can at least do some chip yeah. damage here. They've got great sustain as well, because they can use the Kunkka Exus and Heroes back to base if they want to do some shopping. Oh, 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 how? No, he can't get out. Caught by the Yules, and... 
Oh, well, there used to be a troll there. It's like, even when he gets this BKB, they've got Axe, Laguna Blade to go through it, SF with a Skydew to kind of around. Good luck with that. Well, it's Beachy Gaming looking for a counter-offensive mid, but guess who's waiting? Quan, as well as, well, Faith, the one they jumped initially. Now the Spirit Break arrives, and suddenly they're just going to dogpile onto the Rubik, looking for Super as well. Rubik's going to go down here. Oh, so like, but not going to amount to much. They wanted a second kill from Burning, but yep, pretty quite fun. So another couple of VG game. Anyone who leaves the VG gaming base goes down. That's why sure IG can't really 5v5 push high ground, but at some point VG gaming have to come out, have to try get some farm on their core heroes, and that's when IG take the pickoffs, and then they go back to chipping on these tier three towers. Yeah, they can look for some disruption siege if they want to be super safe about it. Double damage rune is available. Not being popped just yet by 4:30. May hang on to this. Gods, by the way, he's up to almost 20k gold here. He is starting to lap the troll as well as the Magnus. Out of control. Now the BKB charge, Luo. Going deep. We've seen this before. And it seems to be working about as well as it did last time. Yeah. How dumb. Yeah, Lesla to play. He gets taken out of the game for one minute without buyback. Magnus pulled back for this. Hits a one year RP. He gets used in the air. That's the seven LSA and Super. Without and a BKB. Not going to cut it. A Requiem raise. Right click. See ya! Another triple for 430. This guy is it's like he's just pulling nothing but strikes. 19, 0, and 11. An absolute tour de force here from IG. All that was left four. was typing those two magic letters and VG Gaming saying, we need a game three, we need a fresh start. That game, it felt like it was unwinnable from about the 15 minute mark. As soon as IG got rolling, boy, did they play well. There is something about this team. Sometimes they just have one of those games where it just looks like it's like the professional like, basketball players dunking on middle school. 19-0-11 <laughs> Shadow Fiend. I, I